It's time for Forest Pet Project. Every week we showcase a pet up for adoption, and today we have Lainey. She's doing a little dance here on the yeah. floor. For, scratching that back. It's the puppy shuffle. It's like it's like Baloo in Jungle it Book. Is. Scratching that back up against the tree. She's a real sweetheart, and I mean playful, playful, playful. Come here, Lainey. We're trying to introduce you. Show off that beautiful you. face that you have. Okay. So, my dog does the same thing. This gorgeous girl. Oh, there <laughs> is we up go. For adoptions if you want to come and get her. <laughs> She is excited. It's cold weather. It, <laughs> it does is. that to them, really. It does. And um, so if you want to come and adopt Lainey, she will be adoptable for 20 bucks, if not free adoption, because she has, has a rabies shot, so okay. we do have to get that covered. Well, today, you know, obviously, if you take home Lainey or really any pet that you take home or you have at your home already, we want to remind you what to not give your pet. Blake wants to give some love. And, but Please. let's go through a list because this is important. Like it grapes, is. I had no idea that that's bad for your pet. Things that you don't know that you're growing in your garden every day, those big, beautiful elephant ears that we see outside, poisonous. Sago palms, poisonous. Tomatoes, poisonous. Some of the yard mushrooms that are out there are yeah. toxic to your pet. So always keep in mind of your garden or the things growing in your area. If there's a question or your dog is over interested trying to eat it, right. go ahead and Google that plant and see what it says about that plant regarding to animals and if they can eat it. Um, <laughs> know, right? So these are the things her. that are important to investigate. You're thinking about bringing home basically a two-year-old toddler. So we've got, and I've got this on my phone here, grapes, mushrooms, tomatoes, lilies, black walnuts, sago palm, azalea, castor bean, yeah. daffodilias, and then dumb cane. Dumb cane is like that, you know, that light green, but then it has the dark green edges on the okay. on the leaves that look similar to elephant ears. That's that plant, and it's very common here, along with the azaleas that you see every day. Well, we so gotta keep them away from it. Yeah, keep them away from it, and just if you get a dog at your home, let them know. Listen, no, no, <laughs> you can't have that. Well, thank you so much. Hey, stick around. We'll be right back for the nine o'clock.